On this week's boiler tip, we're looking at deaerators again. And once we've got our deaerator warmed up, we've got it up to pressure, um, this vent valve, we may have had it cracked or open for startup, but once we're in operation, we want to make sure that we've got the right plume. Um, so one thing that we're going to check on our deaerator is not actually inside the boiler room. We're going to check it on the roof. So you may have to go up on the roof or you may be, may be able to see the vent from the ground somewhere, but we want to get a visual on this vent. And what should that look like? So when we look at the vent, um, what we should see is a two to three foot plume of steam coming out. That's ensuring that we have enough steam leaving that all of the air is being removed. If we've left that open from startup, we may actually have a clear gap at the base of the outlet and that invisible layer that we see there is pure steam. So that would indicate that we're venting excessively. So we can close the vent back to the orifice and look at it again. Um, and it should be reattached. Now that orifice is sized for the normal makeup on the deaerator. So if you purchase that deaerator and it was stated that you were gonna have 60% makeup, but in reality you've got 100% makeup, that vent is gonna have to be open farther or you're gonna need a bigger hole in the seat of the vent. So just keep that in mind. It was designed to be closed with the orifice in the valve doing the job, but if, we're, if our deaerator temperature is dropping, even though we're maintaining pressure, we may have to crack that vent a little bit more. 